this is the reason I haven't been making videos. <laughs> this is Dexter. He barely weighs three pounds. He's a very big boy. We need to go back to bed. Welcome back to my channel where I like to have fun with all things beauty while being critical about what I accept into my collection. Today I'll be going over week two of the Ulta sale. So real quick, I thought I would start this video by recapping things that I've already picked up. And so far I feel like I've done a decent job not getting things that I very genuinely didn't need. <laughs> like I was heavily considering the Clarins Total Lift Eye Cream, but I knew, I knew from having tried things similar to that in the past, that if I really looked into the ingredients list and ignored the claims, I would be able to talk myself out of it, and I did. It's a high-end luxury eye cream. It's going to feel really nice, but it's not going to yield long-term results. That being said, you know, I'm somebody who has a myriad of sensitivities, so anytime I come across an eye cream that I'm not sensitive to, I'm always really tempted because I just generally don't have the most options, but even 50% off, it was still $45. So I managed to be real and... <laughs> I know for a fact that I could do better in K-Beauty if I need an eye cream. So, save myself $50 there. What I did pick up was on the preview day, the 25th, I got the Madison Reed hair dye, which isn't great, but it is gentle, and the Peach and Lily Copper Peptide Serum. Then on the first day of the sale, I picked up one MAC lipstick and the Beekman Ceramide Serum. Just a side note, I feel like they're not marketing that serum to its full potential because it's not just ceramides, it contains a whole host of really good ingredients, so I feel like, you know, they could actually be promoting it as having antioxidant properties and, and all kinds of other things, but regardless, I am really looking forward to trying that one. Then on Saturday, I picked up the Fresh Cashmere Perfume and another box of the Madison Reed Hair Dye because, like I I mentioned in my last video it lasts for like two weeks so <laughs> I thought I might as well get to. Then yesterday I picked up a Opari Moisturizer, Elemis Face Wash, and an REM Lip Oil. I was really on the fence about the lip oil since I don't think it looks great but it has a really interesting applicator so for eight dollars I figured why not. And there was a day in there that I skipped. Something I'm realizing is that there are a ton of fall releases coming out so I think what's helping me not overspend this go around is just the fact that I know that I want certain things on the horizon. Like the new Danessa Myrick's Lightworks palette just dropped and the Hourglass palettes, you know, there's a ton of stuff coming out. So that's helping a little bit. The other thing is today is Labor Day. So <laughs> there's lots of competing sales. And that's another thing I really wanted to mention because I forgot to until the end of last week's video. Number one, there's timestamps in all of my videos. So you don't have to sit through these chatty intros in order to get to the particular day that you might be looking for. The other thing I wanted to mention is that they also carry a lot of these products at Ulta in Target. So that will be price match. And then on top of that, Sephora price matches for any of the products that they also carry. So that's not only Sephora, that's also Kohl's. So you have Target, Sephora, and Kohl's. And on occasion, I've seen other retailers, at least for, you know, one or two of the products that might be in demand, they will price match those as well. So this is definitely not a sale to lose your mind over. I know 50% is a lot, but GMA Deals does 50% exclusively. <laughs> And we still have Black Friday coming up and a ton of stuff. So while it is still definitely tempting, I don't think it's something in general that people lose their minds over anymore. That's why every year there seem to be less and less sellouts. I remember a few years ago having to stay up until the sale went live the night before to get some of those more in-demand items, and I haven't seen that for a few sale cycles now, so that's actually a good thing. All right, so we're just going to pick up where we left off. Saturday, September 7th. The first thing we have is probably one of the things that I'm most excited about in this entire sale, which is the YSL 
black opium lay parfum and obviously perfume is super subjective i like this because it's a gourmand but it's like a spicy gourmand it's not like straight anything it has a little bit of coffee and vanilla but it's definitely something that has depth to it which is why i like it like i like a gourmand that is a little bit more on the boozy side or the woody side i don't want to smell like a straight up cupcake but maybe a cupcake steeped in bourbon i don't i don't know but anyway i don't like many perfumes and i actually like this one so i think i'm going to go ahead and get whatever size is on sale i'm guessing it's the one ounce which is the smallest option and, and that is $115 so you know it's nothing crazy but I never buy full bottles of perfume because I don't like the commitment <laughs> so for me this is just perfect this is the right amount and I couldn't be wrong about this but I actually think the Le Parfum is the more concentrated version I have a sample of the Le Parfum and the Ode Parfum I believe <laughs> and I think the Le Parfum not only is it slightly stronger, but I think it's also the version of it that has vanilla in it, which definitely makes it more desirable for me, so I, I'm really looking forward to that. Then we have the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. Um, I have had this in the past, and it's definitely a nice eye cream. It's hydrating, it does what it says, it has a little bit of a yellow tint to it, so some people might see that as slightly color correcting. I didn't notice any of that from it. I felt like it dried down relatively clear, but I have heard people say that. You know, without thinking too much about it, it has phenoxyethanol, which is a preservative that I'm slightly sensitive to. It's not a common sensitivity, but it is one that I have. And I used to be annoyed by that because I felt like it limited me because it is so common. But now I actually am grateful because there's so many products on the market today that it makes it really difficult to narrow down and figure out what's worth it. I always say, if you're really struggling with overspending on skincare, the easiest way to save money is just to learn about the ingredients. That's what helped me. Once I learned about what I was looking at in evaluating the efficacy of different eye creams, I stopped being tempted by 99% of luxury skincare in general. You know, that's not to say that cosmetic elegance doesn't count for anything because it absolutely does. And for that reason, I'm still going to consider it. But I just sort of feel like I have a better grasp on what the limits are about what I can actually expect from skincare. Anyway, all that to say, I'm going to be passing on this, but I have used it and it's definitely a decent eye cream if you're looking for something like that, especially something that also has vitamin C. Then we have the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This has come up before. I have been tempted by this before. The reason I never pull the trigger on it is just the simple fact that I have super dehydrated dry skin. And I don't believe that this is going to give me quite the hydration that I'm looking for. I think I can use something else in its place that is just more geared to my skin. I know this is a classic and people absolutely love this, so I'm sure it's nice. And I think if I had oily or combo skin, I would be way more tempted by it because that's not my skin type. And I also really don't like the fragrance of rose. <laughs> I am just not all that interested. I like fresh products, but I don't go crazy for them. Like I know some people love just about everything they come out with and I've been whelmed by them. That's how I would describe it. I have tried a lot of things that are very good, but I haven't tried anything ever from them that I felt like I needed to buy twice. Definitely not at full price. We have the Color Wow. I am not somebody to listen to for hair advice, as you can see. <laughs> um, I know people love this. I have tried it, but I didn't keep using it. So I'm going to easily pass on that. Then we have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. I think this is a fantastic thing to buy if you have an event to go to. If you have normal skin, I would say extra dry, probably not the best fit. But if you have anywhere in the normal range of skin, 
I think that this would work great and it would definitely stay in place all day. I used to keep something like this on hand just in case I had an event, something outside, something that I had to have makeup on for a number of hours. I think it was always good to have this on deck for those purposes. But now that I'm older, I'm on tretinoin and I have other issues, it's not the best fit for my dry skin. It will look okay at first, but then by the second hour or so, it will already be highlighting my dry patches. And for that reason, I'm going to pass. But but this is absolutely a classic for a reason and I think now is a great opportun opportunity to pick it up. The thing I am buying is this Benefit Cosmetics Silky Soft Powder Blush. I have tried samples of this in the past and I absolutely love it. It is a powder brush that le blush <laughs> that leaves a hydrating finish, meaning it provides shine without any detectable mica sparkle shimmer of any kind. It just leaves a silky hydrated finish. And the finish of this actually reminds me of the new Singe Beauty blushes. <laughs> I just received those. I will absolutely be doing a review on those soon. I also have the Flamnetics Nocturnal, the new formulation of that palette, and I have some other eyeshadow palettes that I've gotten that I haven't had time to do anything with. So I'm hoping to do that sometime within the next couple weeks, but I'll absolutely be comparing it directly to these blushes because that's probably what they remind me of most. Then we have Hair Care from DV. Never tried anything from them before. And we have a Tarte Mascara. This is the XL Tubing Mascara. I've heard mixed reviews about this. A lot, most people confirm that it's not your classic tubing mascara. It doesn't fall off in tubes with water. It's not that easy to get off, but a lot of people like it anyway. They, they think that it provides the same thickening effect as a tubing mascara, but it might have longer wear. I'm not sure. I'm just not in the market for something like this. As you can see, I put falsies on. So I like mascara and I'm always looking for the next best mascara since they discontinued my Bite Beauty mascara and I'm still upset about that but it's just gonna be a pass for me. There's other mascaras in this sale that I might be more tempted to pick up. Then we have some It Brushes for Ulta. These are all solid. I've never tried an It Brush that I didn't like, so if you're in the market for any of these shapes, now is a perfect time to pick them up. They last forever and they can take a beating, which is absolutely a must for me. Then we have some Bobbi Brown Powder Bronzer. I've liked all the powder products I've ever tried from Bobbi Brown, so I would say if any of these colors are unique and you are in need of a bronzer, I certainly don't think you would be disappointed by this. And finally, we have a Sunday Riley Mini A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I have tried this, but when I tried it, I was much younger and I was not on tretinoin. So way back then, I had a good experience with it. But I would say if you're somebody who is looking to get into retinoids, you don't want to jump straight in with tretinoin, this would be a really great one to try. All of Sunday Riley's stuff is very cosmetically elegant, and this one has a lot of other nice ingredients added to it, so I think it would be a great option for a lot of people. Sunday, September 8th. First up, we have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. These don't work for me. <laughs> Nothing from First Aid Beauty has ever worked for me because there's something going on with the formulation that my skin reacts poorly to. I think that's a shame because I have insanely dry skin and these ingredients on paper should be right up my alley. Unfortunately, I just can't speak to them other than the fact that so many other people love this brand. I think this would be great for a lot of people. Then we have the Peach and Lily Copper Peptide Pro Firming Serum. I like this. This is probably my favorite copper peptide serum. I say that having dove deep into copper peptides, I had a scar revision. It's on this side. I had a scar revision surgery, and when I was healing from that, I really wanted to see if copper peptides could help aid in the healing process. Because of that, I spent probably a few hundred dollars on a spectrum of different copper peptide serums. I tried the Dr. Picard, I tried the Niod, and I tried a few others, and I bought multiple bottles. Like, I gave it a real A-plus effort. <laughs> and at the end of it, I did not see any improvements beyond other hydrating serums that I already owned. Because of that, 
I'm definitely a skeptic. I'm not sure that I am all in on copper peptides. I'm, I'm really not. That being said, I don't know that they're useless. <laughs> I don't think we have enough evidence. I just think we need more studies. But in the meantime, this peach and lily serum has a bunch of other peptides in it. And I have tried two bottles of this. And while I certainly can't say I notice any night and day differences, I would rather have all of these peptides on board than not have them on board. And this is a serum that is very thin, absorbs quickly, and plays well with everything. So for all of those reasons, I already bought one of these. I am considering a backup. <laughs> I really shouldn't get a backup, but for 20 something dollars for something that is formulated so well like that's one thing I really love about Peach and Lily that almost all of their products work well for me you know I'll wait to see how I feel on that day but I definitely recommend picking it up and giving it a try at the very least whether you're interested in it for the copper peptides or for any of the other peptides they have on board then we have Lanza Keratin Healing Collection that's hair you know nothing about them the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I have both the regular and the anti-aging version of this, which they're both in this sale, and I don't ha find a huge difference between the two. They're both smoothing and slightly tacky. I know that they have different versions of this and some are more color correcting than others. They do have a slight color to them, but to me that's not their primary focus. Something like the Sigma Eye Base or NARS Concealer or MAC Eye Paint. That has more of a color correcting property. These are a little bit different than that, but they're not crazy sticky. They don't make my eyeshadow go on patchy or conflict with anything. They're a good eye base. They're not my favorite eye base. So while I can certainly recommend it, I don't think I'm gonna purchase another one of these just because I just bought a MAC paint pot and I prefer that. We have the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeshadow. Um, when I first saw this, I got excited, but um, they are excluding the Moondust shadows in this. So those are not included. But all of the other ones here, they I mean, they look like they have a bunch of nice ones. I'm gonna pass because I'm just not a singles person. You know, for $11, if you're interested in any of these colors, I think they're a really nice formula. I just, I, I really don't reach for my singles enough, so I'm not even gonna look at these. Then we have the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I just really don't do liquid lipstick. My lips are too dry. I just, I don't even bother with that. Then we have Kiehl's Acne Clearing Solution. I'm going to pass for that because I have other things that I'm using for acne, but kills a solid. So if you're in the market for this, I certainly don't think it would be bad. Then we have the Peace Out Early Stage Acne Dots. These have the little spikes. If you're somebody who has cystic acne and you know pimple patches and you've tried the ones with spikes, <laughs> you might understand why I really love these. They're just so satisfying. I don't know that they do anything that a regular pimple patch doesn't do, so I won't splurge for them on a daily basis, especially because my chin is like a minefield. I go to bed with like seven pimple patches on. <laughs> I'm certainly not buying the Zit Sticka individual like that cost a fortune. I just, I can't be doing that. But when they're on sale, I am absolutely going to indulge, and I'm really looking forward to getting these in my hand. <laughs> we have an It Small Eyeshadow Brush from Ulta, solid brushes, and then we have It's a 10 Hair Masks. Don't know anything about that brand, so that's a pass. Monday, September 9th, first up, we have the COSRX Vitamin C Serum. I've heard good things about this, and it does use ascorbic acid, but it's at 23%, which would be a bit much if you have sensitive skin. Looking at all of the ingredients in this. I think if you don't have sensitive skin, this might be a fabulous option, but just because there's a high likelihood <laughs> this will be too much for me, I'm going to pass, but it's definitely nice that they're including it in this sale. We have the Herborean BB and CC creams. I actually haven't tried anything from Herborean. I know tons of people love them. I would consider giving it a try, but there are just other CC creams that I'm more interested in. We have some cleansers from Origin. I'm gonna pass because I am I have sensitive skin and they tend to use a lot of essential oils, so I'm not even gonna really look at those. Then we have KVD Good Apple Blush and Bronzer. I've heard good things. 
However, they are cream products, and I really just can't with any more cream products, <laughs> especially blush. I just really have to stop with those, but you know, if you're really looking for anything in these particular colors, I would be willing to bet that the formula is nice. I think those pans look like they could get messy and it might be difficult to get a brush in, but all of that aside, I think they're probably a decent formula. We have Deva Curl. Gonna skip on that. Dad, I guess. I don't know how you even say that. Know nothing about that hair brand. Then we have some Lunas from Foreo. I think these are silly. I think maybe when I was a teenager, I would enjoy the sensation of this. I bought these in the mini version in the past where they kind of just die and then that's it. But for however long the battery life lasts, you can keep using it. And it was something that felt kind of nice. But I certainly don't think that it actually effectively did anything to in any way limit my pore size or do any of the things that they would like to market them as doing. I think they kind of provide a nice sensation <laughs> and that's about it. And also you can get, there's, there's so many knockoffs these days. And from what I've heard anyway, a lot of the knockoffs actually work better and last longer and are so much cheaper than these, even at 50% off. I mean, 60 something dollars for some, like, no, absolutely not. We have some clear facial toners. These have been in this sale in the past and I've been really interested in them. They have an unscented version and a scented version, which I think is fabulous. I really wish all brands would do that. And yeah, looking at the ingredients, there's nothing but good stuff. I don't really know why I've held back in the past other than the fact that there are other toners that just were more interesting than these. I'm sort of on the fence. I'm not excited about these by any means. Like I think the CosRx toner in this sale, the six peptide whatever toner, I think that's way more interesting than this but this might be the year that I finally try it, just out of curiosity. And the last thing is hair care, so I'm gonna skip that. Then Tuesday, September 10th, we have Redken Dry Shampoo. I am always tempted by dry shampoo. However, I have plenty of dry shampoo, so I really don't need to try this one. Then we have some Prestige Lashes. This will include the Lily Half Lashes, whatever different kinds. There's one Sassy and another one Dreamy. I don't even know the difference between the two, but I'm definitely gonna buy one of each because these are one of my absolute favorite half lashes. We have mascara and liner for Anastasia. I'm good, I don't really need either, but even if I did, I probably wouldn't get them from Anastasia. I've definitely had samples of this mascara and it was just fine, it was nothing great. Editing Jean here, popping in to say that for some reason I thought these were the only items, well, because they're not in the photo, but they're not actually the only items from Anastasia on sale this day. We also have two eyeshadow palettes, which I have seen these discounted at 50% before. So what that tells me is if I've seen them before, we'll see them again. So if you miss them this time around, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't mess with Anastasia in general, but I've heard good things about these palettes, so it's definitely worth mentioning. I'm a little surprised they didn't include them in the promo photo, but I did want to mention them because I know there are definitely some amount of people that are going to be interested in these, for sure. And we have Stila Correct and Brighten Primer. I have never tried this, so I really can't say one way or the other. I just don't really think it's for me. We have the Body Firm from Crepe Race. I really hate Crepe Race. <laughs> I think it's all such garbage marketing that they put out there. I see it on TV all the time. I think it's preying on people's insecurity, and I really resent it. And there's nothing in here that has anything to do with cellulite, so absolutely not. We have the Peter Thomas Roth Insta Firmex Temporary Face Tightener. These have been around forever. They're not new. <laughs> like, it's crazy to me when these go viral every few years and everybody thinks they're brand new to the market. Stuff like this has been around forever. I tried something similar from Amazon years ago that was like $9 or something. And yeah, it's effective, but so is super glue. And it, if you've ever gotten super glue like stuck to your fingers, that's sort of the effect that this leaves. You can't put makeup on top. 
you can't really do anything to it to make it look natural. So other than maybe taking a photo, like if you're strategic and you put this on right before a photo, you get the makeup to sit for a few minutes, fine, it's fine. But it's certainly not something that's going to have any long lasting benefits, nor is it something that's easy to work with on a day to day basis. So, you know, I can sit here and say that I'm coming from a place of privilege. I don't have huge eye bags, knock on wood, yet. But I think if I did, I would want to save my money and put it towards things that might actually make a difference and not waste it on products like this. Because frankly, I just don't think they do a nice job. We have the Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus Eye. I have had jars of this in the past, and I have to just say, I am totally done <laughs> with Pericone MD. I have bought so many things from them and always at 50% off. They're very, very frequently on GMA deals. And when I say that, it's GMA deals, but it's also like 40 boxes. It's under the ABC umbrella. I think it's ABC, <laughs> but whatever. There's a few different sites, but they're all under the same sort of chain of discounts. So if you find one, you can probably find them all. But regardless, this has been included in that. And I was always the most interested in the cold plasma line out of all of their different lines, but never found any of it to be effective. In the past few times that I've bought things for them, they came smelling rancid like first time on upon opening it smelling rancid and i think it's because they were unloading old product they were selling the things that they couldn't sell at a discount and unloading it on people that way and i just i got so irritated with them that i'm totally done that and none of it ever did anything for me like as much as the cold plasma ingredients interested me i didn't find them effective so that's definitely going to be a pass. We have from Smashbox two brushes, the Halo Tinted Moisturizer and the Concealer. I have tried the Tinted Moisturizer. I didn't really like it. I, I ran out of my It's CC cream that I used to wear on top of sunscreen on days when I knew I was going to really be outside and I wanted an extra layer of sun protection on top of my sunscreen. Those always really worked well for me. This didn't. This was weird because it clung to dry patches while also looking greasy simultaneously, <laughs> which is definitely weird. And I know tons of people love this. I'm also not the biggest tinted moisturizer person. I prefer a thin foundation to a tinted moisturizer because I always use moisturizer. So I never really wanted to get my skin tint that way. But regardless, it is definitely a very light coverage and it's definitely moisturizing unless it dries you out. <laughs> so I think for most people this will work fine. It just, it really was not my favorite and I certainly wouldn't buy it again. The entire brand of Unite Hair, never heard of them. And then we have some Toka Scented Dry Body Oil. I've never tried anything from this brand, but I've definitely seen them around. So if any of these scents speak to you and you're looking for body oil, I think they're probably nice. And on Wednesday, September 11th, we have the Live Tinted Highlighter Drops. I've never tried anything from Live Tinted. These look interested, but I just liquid highlighters, I, like I'm good. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I have enough products that do that. I really don't need any more. Then we have Nioxin Trial Kits. So this could be useful to people dif dealing with different hair issues. Then we have Kylie Cosmetics High Gloss. I'm good. I have more lip gloss than any human should. And I'm certainly not needing one from anybody, much less Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm good on that. Then Too Faced Plumping Lip, Lip Liner. While I do like a plumping gloss, I do like the burn. I don't want that in a lip liner. <laughs> I've had issues using plumping gloss too, or lipstick even too many days in a row and then I'll get angular chelitis which is just like red cracked fissures at the side of my mouth that are just super uncomfortable and they take forever to heal and I just know that if I use this <laughs> more than a few times it would cause that pretty immediately so I just I really don't want plumping in my lip liner then we have some bloom meltdown oil and gel cleanser I might give the oil a try 
I mean, they're for people with acne, which I definitely struggle with. I won't try the cream because I just have too many moisturizers, but I love a good cleansing oil. What can I say? So I might try that. Then we have Tan Lux Body and Face Drops. I've heard really good things about this. I might <laughs> be tempted to pick one up. I almost never use either. I never use tanning on my body or my face. But if I'm going somewhere like on the holidays or something and I have to wear a dress, which is, is quite rare, I most definitely need something on my skin because you can straight up see my veins and I don't like it. <laughs> so I might get something like this just to have in case something like that comes up. We have the LMS Dynamic Resurfacing Super C Serum. I know that this wouldn't work for me. My skin is too sensitive and I just, I'm not that impressed with Elemis skincare just across the board. I've tried the Marine Cream, I've tried a bunch of their stuff and it's just okay. I feel like it's way more expensive than it needs to be for no real reason. And we have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Body Lotion. I bet this would be nice. This would be a nice wintertime body moisturizer, but I just, I have too much of that. Then we have the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. I think this would be fabulous for anybody with oily or combo skin. I definitely need thicker creams for my dry skin. And we have Keratin Complex Hair Treatments. Gonna pass. And then finally, we have the REM Liquid Eyeshadows. I might get one of these because I was a good girl and I passed on the half magic ones <laughs> because I knew that I would never use them. I have plenty of liquid eyeshadows in my collection that are absolutely great, but I never use them because I just don't really like liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> that doesn't stop me from wanting them. Clearly, I keep doing this to myself. But this one, the duochrome shade, Comet, the Champagne Shimmer, I just have a problem with Champagne Shimmers. <laughs> I just want them all. But anyway, this shade Fembot, which is probably the most popular, or at least the one I've seen the most, it's like a pink with a blue shift. It's so darn pretty, and I've heard really good things about the formula of these, so like whatever. I might be tempted to pick one up, but I will definitely try to keep it at one, and you know, they're cheap enough, so it's like a mistake that I can see myself making, but I just know I'm going to make it anyway. <laughs> so it is what it is. At least it's under $10. Then Thursday, September 12th, we have these lipsticks from Rabon. I've been eyeing these for a while, but I've never tried anything from Rabon, so I don't know if I'm going to start now. I struggle with lip shades in general. I never like any of the lip shades I buy, so I don't trust that I would find anything different with these. They're certainly tempting because they look nice and hydrating, but I think I'm going to do my best to skip. Then we have the Beauty Blender. I used to pick these up for $10 because they're almost always in this sale, but I'm just over it. I've done it enough that I have a few of these. They are my favorite sponge. I can't deny that, but they're not the only one on the market. You know, I like the Paw Paw sponge. I don't like it as much as the Beauty Blender, but Singe Beauty has an equivalent sponge. Refer has an equivalent sponge. Kosas has a totally equivalent sponge. So there are just others out there that are quite literally identical for a better price. So I think I'm going to pass this year. Azaro has a perfume. I know nothing about that brand actually. Lancome All Over Concealer. I own this. I bought this a few years ago when I was first getting into makeup because I heard all the things about how it was good for mature skin and fine lines, and while I certainly didn't have a bad experience with it, I don't think it's the best for extra dry skin. I've really replaced it with things that just work better for my super dry under eyes. So I think if you have more normal skin, it's definitely a really good concealer, but if you struggle and need more hydration, this is definitely not the most hydrating. Then we have Elizabeth Arden Advanced ceramide capsules. I've bought these in the past. They come in a really hydrating feeling formula, so it almost feels like an oil. I don't know that it is actually an oil, but it feels like it's in an oil, and it's just so comforting. I would look forward to putting this on almost like a moisturizer. Like, it almost gave that level of soothing. It was just such a nice experience. 
I don't think it really did anything beyond that nice experience, but because of that, I'm always tempted by these. I think that they have possibly several sizes, so 30 to 90 count, but good grief, the 90 count one is $125, like absolutely not. There's nothing in here <laughs> that makes it worth that much money. So if I did feel like indulging myself, I would get the smallest size. Because, like I said, I, I don't think they're like effective at anything other than that really nice experience. And we have a Strivectin Tightening Neck Serum Roller. I don't really like packaging like this that come with the roller tops because it just feels gross to me. Like, I just feel like there's no way I could keep that effectively clean. And I'm also not really a big believer in things specifically for the neck. And on top of that, I don't love Strivectin. <laughs> so three strikes, this product is out. It's going to be an easy pass for me. But if this is an experience that sounds nice to you at 50% off, you know, I'm sure it feels nice. I'm sure the roller feels nice and cooling. And we have a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. These Smashbox primers are always in the sale. And I'm just, I'm, I'm I'm over it. I feel like they were super popular when they first came out because they were new and somewhat revolutionary, but they're just not anymore. So I'm just over it. I'm not really interested in any of those primers. Biolage Select Treatments for Hair. We have Lan Lange, I guess. I don't even know how to say that. Another hair care product and another hair care product, this time for men. We have American Crew Men's Hair Care. And finally, we have Strivectin Advance Plus Intensive Moisturizer. I don't really have anything to say about this other than it's too expensive and I don't love Strivectin. So it might be decent. It's probably very decent. But, you know, 50% off the two ounce at $40. I think even that's too much. All right. Then finally, on Friday, September 13th, we have the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencils. I have owned tons of these. I, I'd say this is not the ideal product to buy several backups of because they do dry out. <laughs> I have learned that the hard way. They are nice and creamy. They're very easy to use. This used to be my absolute favorite brow product until I started using their pomade. And for me, somebody with super sparse brow hair, I just prefer the pomade because it's faster. <laughs> the application is faster and it doesn't dry out on me. These, I would either use them up or forget they existed and let them dry out. So I think that for the people who use this, which there are a lot of, this is a great time to pick up. I would say just don't go crazy and buy like six backups of it because they're not gonna last that long, unfortunately. And we have Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Cleansing Oil. I've heard of this the way they call it the pre-cleanse. It's a cleansing oil. You know, I'm sure it's a fine cleansing oil, but to me, the price of it is just outrageous and I'm really not tempted by it because I could get a equally as nice cleansing oil for way cheaper at full price. And we have the Dermatologica Daily Superfoliant Exfoliator. I have seen this in the past. This is like a manual exfoliation and I've tried similar products like the powders from Tatcha and different things and I do think they're nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with physical exfoliation when it's done right and I think it can be really useful if you're in the market for something like this, but I'm just not, so I'm not going to go out of my way. We have the MAC Studio Radiance, Radiance Serum Foundation. This is a cult classic for a reason. I know that it's nice. I trust the people that have said that it's nice, but I've never tried this version of the MAC Foundation. I think mostly because I just assumed it wasn't enough coverage for me, not quite enough hydration, and a bunch of ingredients that I have sensitivities to. Too. But I like MAC. I think they make a lot of solid products. I'm really hoping they do something to sort of come back into popularity because I would love to get excited about them again. And we have a ton of lip products from Juvia's Place. It looks like almost all of their lip products. I actually haven't tried any of their lip products in particular, but I think if any of these colors look interesting to you, I've heard nothing but good things about them. Pearl Smith, that's hair. 
Tula H2O Asus Instant Skin Rejuvenating Mask. This has alpha arbutin in it, which is good for pigmentation, and it has a lot of nice looking ingredients. I don't know, I'm sort of on the fence. I talked about this when I talked about the other Tula product in the sale, the serum. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna pick that up. I've had some sensitivity issues with Tula, even though nothing on their ingredients list really jumps out as being the culprit. I'm not sure what that's about. So based on that experience, I'm just really not sure about this. <laughs> but I like what I'm seeing on paper. It looks like a great product. And we have Pattern Curl Gel and another It Brush from Ulta. MAC Fix and Stay Over Setting Spray. I'm a huge Fix Plus fan. <laughs> I am so happy that they fixed the bottle because I hated the pump on that. I felt like it caused more problems for me because of the pump. But this looks like it doesn't have that issue. I mean, I don't wear my makeup for that long. I really don't need a traditional setting spray. I need something to melt my powder in with the rest of my products and give me a hydrating, glowing look. So I'm probably going to pass on this. I have too many sprays just like that right now. And if I was really looking for longevity, I would probably do our Urban Decay All Nighter, which I already own. So I don't need this right now, but if you're on the market and you find some of the other sprays that increase longevity to be drying, I think this would be a great one to try. And finally is the Bio Ionic Hair Dryer, which I don't even use a hair dryer anymore. <laughs> That's how little I care for my hair. So I'm going to save some money there. All right, and I will end it there and do my final video starting next Saturday. All right, so that is it. I'm going to do my best to make this video shorter. <laughs> and I feel like <laughs> it's definitely obvious that I'm brand new to YouTube and I have no idea what I'm doing. But I will say my last video, my Ulta week one video, took me between 8 and 10 hours just to edit that. And then when I finally edited it, I ran out of disk space on my laptop. So I had to figure out how to clean that up, which is way more complicated than I had bargained for. So not only am I brand new to video and audio, I'm new to basic technology. <laughs> so thank you in advance for bearing with me. And we have one more week and a ton of releases coming out. So I'm, I'm gonna do my best to get something else out this week and next week wrap up the Ulta sale. And then I almost guarantee that this Sephora sale will be announced next. So my game plan for that is to really just break down my favorite products. And that won't be difficult because it's not that long of a list. So what I did last time was I talked about my favorite products and then I went ahead and talked about what's on my wish list. And because I have so much makeup, it's not super useful to just talk about that. So I definitely talk about both and that will be one video instead of three, but then I'll definitely talk about my haul and what I actually end up picking up and all that good stuff. I am really struggling with the get ready with me aspect of all of this. It's really hard for me to put makeup on on camera. However, I am still able to capture decent review footage in B-roll. So that's my game plan for now. I hope to graduate to more doing makeup on camera. <laughs> to show application in real time in a way that's useful and in a way that shows finish and wear time and all of those things. That's all coming up and we're definitely on the brink of busy season. So <laughs> it's good to keep in mind that there's always gonna be another sale. It's only makeup and it keeps getting better. So if you miss something right now, just know that it's guaranteed something better will come along. <laughs> in the future so you're never really missing out on anything so with that in mind i hope everybody has a fabulous rest of the week thank you so much for watching liking leaving a comment about anything all of that stuff really helps me out because sometimes i definitely feel like i'm shouting into the void <laughs> but i appreciate every single person who sits through any of my videos i love you so much and i will talk to you soon Bye bye